In this video I will show you how to highlight certain ranges in the Excel chart horizontally. This request was done by one of my follower recently. I thought to make a tutorial on this, so it will be helpful for others too. Ok let's get started. To stay up to date with my latest videos and cool Excel tips make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and hit the bell icon, so that you will get instant notification on my new uploads. The table is given the hardness test results from the 12 replicate samples. I was requested to highlight the region, where the average hardness lied between 40 and 60. Given the instrument uncertainty reading is 5. Ok, let us see how we can create this chart. First, I will take the average of each sample reading. Select the entire data, to select entire table press and hold Ctrl plus Shift key, then press space bar from your keyboard. Next, press Ctrl plus Q to open quick analysis tools. Or just click the icon shown in the bottom right corner of the table. Then go to totals tab and select average. To create the chart, I will transpose the average data to a column in a new table. Copy the sample ID and right click in the sample ID column and choose transpose under paste option. But for average values we cannot just copy and paste as transpose, it will give reference error since the average is calculated by the formula. To avoid this, we can transpose data by using Excel formula. For this I will use Excel HLOOKUP function to transpose the data from rows to a column. If you need more knowledge on Excel HLOOKUP function please click the above video link on how to use Excel HLOOKUP function with examples. Ok, in average column enter function like equal HLOOKUP, then lookup value will be the sample ID, select entire table as the table array, and press F4 key to freeze the table. The row index number will be 7, since I need the average values from the 7th row. Finally with exact match. Now copy down the formula. Now the data is transposed to a new table. Next, I will add a new table to define the ranges to highlight the average values. Since I have 12 samples, I will add 12 data ranges with the steps of 10 hardness value. Ok now we have set everything to create the chart. Select range table and go to insert tab. In the chart section, choose insert line or area chart then click the stacked area chart. Next, I will swap the data over axis, for this simply press the switch row or column option from data. Next, copy the average hardness data, then select the created chart. Go to paste option in the home tab, and select paste special. Select the values Y in, as column, make sure to tick both checkbox and click OK. Now it has created a crazy chart, but don't worry still we have to do some changes on the chart. Select the new series, right click and select the change series chart type option. From the new dialog box, scroll down and change the average hardness chart series to column chart, also check the secondary axis option. Next, I am going to add a secondary horizontal axis to the chart. For this, select the average column chart, then click the plus icon from the top right corner to expand the chart elements, from the axis option check the secondary horizontal. Next, select the primary horizontal axis, right click and select format axis. Under axis option, select the on tick marks option. Ok, next, we have to switch the x and y axis, left to right and top to bottom. To switch the horizontal axis, first select the primary left vertical axis and go to format axis option. Under horizontal axis crosses, select the maximum axis value. Next, select the secondary right vertical axis and change horizontal axis crosses to automatic position. Next, we have to switch the vertical axis left to right. Select the primary top horizontal axis and go to format axis option. Under vertical axis crosses, select the maximum axis value. Select the secondary bottom axis and choose the automatic option from the vertical axis crosses. Now we have done with the switching the axis. Next, select the top horizontal axis and hide it by formatting. Next, select the primary right vertical axis and press delete. Ok, now you can see the horizontal bar chart is created with the steps of 10 hardness values. Now I am going to highlight the region between 40 and 60. Select the region starting from 40. Then edit the value from the range table to 20, it will give me the region between 40 and 60. 
Select other horizontal bar and format as no fill color. You can use format option to change the fill format as your desired. Next, I will add the error bars on the average reading chart. Select the column chart, then click the plus icon from the top right corner of the chart, hover mouse to error bars and click the small right arrow button. Then select more option. From the format error bars select the custom option and select the error value rows for negative and positive errors. Select the minimum range from the chart, then add the value in the range table to highlight the desired region. We have done it for today, you can download our tutorial file from the link in the description. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to like the video, comment your thoughts on this tutorial, and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos on Excel lessons. Have a nice day.